my students in my previous video i have explained the trigonometric ratios of complementary angles we know that complementary angles lie in the first quadrant that means angles between 0 degree and 90 degree these angles lie in the first quadrant if you know these things you can easily do trigonometric ratios of any angle once again i will explain first quadrant all positive second quadrant all students take coffee that is a tip all positive in the first quadrant sin and cosec are positive in the second quadrant tan and cot are positive in the third quadrant cos and sec are positive in the fourth quadrant and we have to change the trigonometric ratios that means sin to cos cos to sin uh, tan to cot cot to tan and sec to cosec cosec to sec that uh, in the odd multiple of 90 we have to change and the even multiple of uh, 90 don't change the trigonometric ratios in each quadrant we are going to find the trigonometric ratios so first quadrant first trigonometric ratio sin and 90 minus theta this one i have already explained but once again i will say sin 90 minus theta cos 90 minus theta tan 90 minus theta cot 90 minus theta c 90 minus theta and cosec 90 minus theta this values we need to find out and we know that in the first quadrant all trigonometric ratios are positive and 90 90 means it is the odd multiple of 90 so sign will change to cos so cos theta is the answer cos will change to sine tan will change to cot cot will change to tan sec will change to cosec and cosec will change to sec theta and in the first quadrant all trigonometric ratios are positive so all answers are positive next 360 plus theta also comes in the first quadrant. So we need to find sine 360 plus theta. Cos 360 plus theta. Tan 360 plus theta. Cot 360 plus theta. C 360 plus theta cosec 360 plus theta and we know that 360 is an even multiple of 90 so don't change the trigonometric ratio that means answer also will be sin theta here and cos will not change so cos theta here tan theta, same trigonometric function we have to write. Here cot, so cot, the same trigonometric ratio cot theta. Here sec theta and last one cosec theta. And we know that in the first quadrant all trigonometric ratios are positive. So all answers are positive. Next moving to the second quadrant. Moving to the second quadrant. 90 plus theta comes in the second quadrant. We need to find all the trigonometric ratios. And we know that in the second quadrant, sine and cosec are positive. This means answer will be sine will be positive. Here cosec means here also answer will be positive. Remaining everywhere answer is negative. And... Uh, 90 means it is an odd multiple of theta so we must change the trigonometric function so sin will change to cos cos will change to sin tan will change to cot cot will change to tan sec will change to cosec cosec will change to sec Hope you understand it. First quadrant, second quadrant, 90 plus theta, 
90 is an odd multiple of theta and so we must change the trigonometric ratios and in the second quadrant only sine and cosec are positive. One more angle is there that means 180 minus theta so we need to find sine 180 minus theta cos 180 minus theta tan 180 minus theta cot 180 minus theta sec 180 minus theta and the last one cos sec 180 minus theta and here also we know that only this is the second quadrant, so only sine and cosec are positive. Remaining all are negative. And 180 is an even multiple of 90. So don't change the trigonometric ratio, that means same sign will come here, here cos, same trigonometric ratio. Here same tan trigonometric ratio, here same cot, here sec. We must look at the question wherever sine and cosec comes in the second quadrant, their answer is positive. Cosec 180 minus theta is cosec theta. Moving to the third quadrant. Moving to the third quadrant, we know that third quadrant angle measure is 180 plus theta. We need to find all these trigonometric ratios. And in the third quadrant, we know that tan and cot are positive. So here tan is positive and cot is also positive. Remaining all trigonometric functions are negative. And 180 is an even multiple of 90. So don't change the trigonometric ratio. First one sign itself. Second cos itself. Third tan itself. Fourth cot itself. Fifth sec itself. And the last cos sec itself. And one more angle comes in the third quadrant. That is 270 minus theta. So we need to find all the trigonometric ratios based on 270 minus theta. We know that in the third quadrant only tan and cot are positive. Remaining all are negative. And 270 comes. 270 is an odd multiple of 90. So we must change the trigonometric ratios. Sine will change to cos. Cos will change to sine. Tan will change to cot. Cot will change to tan. Sec will change to cosec. Cosec will change to sec. Hope you understand. We, we will move to the fourth quadrant. In the fourth quadrant, we know that only cos and sec are positive. So here positive, sec also positive. Cos and sec are positive. Remaining all trigonometric ratios are negative. And 270 is an odd multiple of 90. So we must change the trigonometric ratio. Sine will change to cos. Cos will change to sine. Tan will change to cot. Cot will change to tan. Sec will change to cosec. Cosec will change to sec. And one more angle comes in the fourth quadrant. That is 360 minus theta. We need to find the trigonometric ratios of based on 360 minus theta. 360 minus theta comes in the fourth quadrant. And in the fourth quadrant we know that only cos and Seek are positive.
and 360 is an even multiple of 90. So don't change the trigonometric ratio. So first one the sine itself, second cos itself, third tan itself, fourth cot itself, sec, sec itself and cosec, cosec itself. The fourth quadrant only cos and sec are positive. Remaining all are negative. So you can easily find out the, the trigonometric ratios of any angle. To evaluate the trigonometric ratios of any angle, we have to identify in which quadrant it comes. And we must know all students take coffee. Don't forget, all students take coffee. Bye.